Be the myth. Liquid Light Experience at it again, y'all. Today's episode is the music industry dead. You know, in my discussions with different people about the music business these days, a lot of people are saying that there isn't any money in the music business, the music industry anymore. I beg to differ. You know, it's just that you have to be aware of the different streams of revenue that do exist and be able to take advantage of it. Think about all of the new ways that music is being consumed. Not only do you have streaming services, but you also have apps that use music, social media platforms, and you have new ones popping up all the time. It may take just a small effort for you to be able to get in touch with a music director or whoever's in charge of that and get your music placed on some of these apps. Or it may just be as simple as you joining a platform that has to do with music and artists and fans, and there are plenty of them that do exist, and opening up an account on there and just being on there every day, getting known and getting followers. Let's speak on apps a little bit more. There are plenty of apps that you can download on your iPhone or Android device that are platforms where you can get yourself out there, get your music out there, as long as you're on it every day and you build some type of following. Also with these apps, you can monetize them over time if you build a large enough following. You may be able to create some type of revenue and between all of them, you may be able to generate a decent amount of money. Like I was saying, it's also about building a following, building some loyalty amongst people that like your music, building a brand so that these people in the future will want to spend money on maybe products, clothing, and other things that you have to offer since so much music is free right now. Let's talk about an old source of revenue for music. Get it. Tori. Once you build a large enough following and a loyal fan base, and you start the gig, these are the people that are gonna be spending money on your CDs, cassettes are coming back in, vinyl, and other products that you may have on your merch table to sell it on. Another reason why the music industry is not dead is because basically you can put as much music out as you want to, anytime you want. You know, not only on the streaming platforms, as long as you go through some type of distribution, you can put music out on there, but you can also put music out on YouTube, on SoundCloud, and various other apps and platforms. Get your stuff out there, get it known. The music industry is definitely not dead, y'all. It's wide open. So yeah, you know, the music industry is definitely not dead. Like I said, it's more open than it has ever been. Now the narrative of wanting to get signed to a major label, that's definitely dead, that's whack. You know what I'm saying? When you learn about the history of the music industry and how artists were taken advantage of, molested, you know what I'm saying? And just all types of uh, foolery dealing with the music industry, with the major labels and the major entertainment industry as a whole. You know, why would you even want to go there and do that? You know, so definitely that narrative is dead. It's definitely time for you to take matters in your own hands and for you to be your own record label. So learn what you need to learn, study what you need to study, practice, it's what you need to practice, work hard, be your own label. If you're a phenomenal artist, if people are gonna like you, they're gonna love you, you're gonna get followers, you're gonna get fans, you're gonna be able to generate enough income to live off of eventually. It may take a little time, but you can do it. Concentrate y'all, be persistent, and be the myth. Well, this is the Liquid Light Experience. Yet again, I'm signing off. Just to tell you one more time, you are the label that you always wanted to get signed to. So with that, I'm out. I hope that this helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Please comment, let me know what you think. And also hit the bell so that you can get notified of when I have a new episode. Peace.